Tonight we're asking, could a simple pill slow the ageing process and actually make you live longer? One Australian geneticist says, yep. Whether it's mythical fountains of youth, philosopher's stones or stories about vampires, the obsession with living longer has been documented for centuries. Immortality becomes you. But is fiction becoming fact? Well, I don't think there's a limit to how long we can live, actually. Australian Dr David Sinclair is in his 50s, but says his biological age is in his 30s. The Harvard researcher and his team have found molecules that repair damaged cells. And they've come up with a pill which he's taking himself. But we're making a lot of progress in, in human trials. Um, I think that they're probably, we're a few years away before we have our first medicines. The molecules they've been working on are designed to activate the body's natural defences against disease and ageing. We have found a set of enzymes, they are coded by genes in our genome, that serve as the body's defences against adversity. So actually when we exercise and we don't eat, these genes come on, they make these enzymes, and the enzymes act like traffic cops that, that direct the body to repair itself and protect against diseases and ageing. He hopes his team's discovery will change the entire view of ageing. We should treat it like a disease because it is one. Uh, it's just a very common one. If something happens to 49% of us over time that's horrible, we call it a disease, and if it happens to 51%, we call it ageing. Dr Sinclair hopes his pill will be on the market in the next few years, but others point out we're not there yet. What David and, and lots of other people have shown is that, that we're starting to understand how longevity and, and, and ageing works in, in humans. We're starting to find molecules which might help that, but we're a really a long way from, from putting that into a pill. You can improve the longevity of mice, but no one's shown that that's actually possible in humans yet. Modern medicines combined with good lifestyle choices are already helping people live longer. The World Economic Forum says a child born today in some first world countries has a good chance of living to over a hundred. We've seen phone apps that can make us old, but one day maybe science can keep us young. And we're willing to hear some out of the box suggestions. A good uh, central Otago Pinot Noir may be your best bet at this point. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. Well, joining us now is Kiwi ageing expert Greg McPherson. So, Greg, doctor, the doctor there said there's no limit. What, what is the limit? How long do you believe a human being can live? Well, there's a group of about 1,700 people, Jeremy, that have lived to 115, and even one lady who lived to 122. So we, we think around 115 is kind of where it's going to sit. And what are you aiming at? What do you want to live to? Oh, I think 115 would be nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Greg, you're bananas. <laughs> do you have some out-of-box suggestions for, for living longer and looking younger? I do, and that's um, going... We can get some lessons from places called the Blue Zones, and Blue Zones are places around the world where people have lived, uh, lived and get to 100 much more than the rest of us. And these people do things like they just they have a plant-based diet, they ex exercise a bunch, and, um, and, and so we can take lessons from that and then add in a few extra supplements that are available to us now that weren't available to previous generations. And these things are going to see us be healthier for a lot longer, and that's going to have some effect on our life, ex uh, the amount of time we're around. What should I be doing if I want to be 115 and hot? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what pills we can use for you, my friend. <laughs> Seriously, though, people will say, well, look, I don't mind getting a bit older if I can keep looking reasonably good. Is there anything you can suggest for them? Um, look, I think if we, we actually got to, I think, go deeper than skin, and I think look after the, the internal side, our organs and so on, and I think if we adopt these strategies, then definitely we can, I guess, look good on the outside as well as the inside. Um, like sunscreen is one of the, the one of the best things you could do if you want to um, look look younger as, as long as possible. You've just got to look at the back of your hand and that, compare that to perhaps a part of your body where the sun doesn't shine. And um, Jesse, you might find that if you can you know protect your skin like that, you're going to you will look younger for longer. I'm just going to request the director show no pictures of the backs of my hand for the rest of the show, please. I'm feeling quite self-conscious about yeah. them now. I wouldn't mind seeing where the sun don't shine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just heard from an Aussie scientist who's in his 50s. He says that biologically he's in his 30s. Do you buy it? Yeah, absolutely I do. Uh, David takes a bit of something called resveratrol and combines it with something called mon nicotinamide mononucleotide, and that combination seems to keep him pretty, pretty young. Well, Greg, thanks for your wisdom and your advice, and it must work because you do not look 93. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. <laughs>
Amazing stuff. Thank you. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Don't want it, don't need it, don't like it. Just really? Just want it. Just want it. What's getting, your number? Getting old is a privilege, I think, and just, like, cruising there at your own speed is fine. I'll be happy if, like, I check out at 87 in my sleep. That's mm. my... This is amazing goal. stuff. This is like not science fiction, it's science fact. Mm. But late for me, horses bolted. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it um, at all. If you want to find out more, Greg's got a book. It's called Harnessing the Nine Hallmarks of Ageing. And we've got a link to it on our Facebook page. I'd rather just eat cake and have a sleep, to be honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect.